Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the first part of the project replicator. In this project, I I attempt to actually make a 3D model that would be printed out uh, via 3D printing that uh, I could use as a very, very nice thing that would stand on my shelf. Now, uh, I would like to achieve um, the basically one-to-one -one, uh, representation of the replicator drone that was in the Stargate series. I really love those guys, they I think uh, were the best villains of, of the entire series, even though they were basically faceless horde, not counting the human power replicators. And <coughs> sorry. And I really liked the design since it first appeared there. So, uh, how would I uh, basically um, start? I would like to design uh, the individual block and then put everything together according, for example, this picture or uh, other reference pictures and um, create it in such a way shape or form that it would really resemble uh, this kind of replicator drone. Now for a reference picture um, uh, we can al always use use Google. Uh, one side note that really really made my day um, very beautiful uh, when I put Stargate replicator into uh, Google it finds all those pictures and what really stand out for me is that on the second row in the very middle we have this picture that's actually a picture from our game Stargate Empire at War uh, Pegasus Chronicles pictures of replicators that I made that's that's the model that I prepared in the game that's the model that we all already have in our internal version and it was really well I don't really think I have to explain uh, how satisfying it was that it shows as uh, but prominently here. I was really, really, really uh, enjoying that fact. Anyway, uh, here we have uh, um, pictures of replicators uh, and that could be our starting point for the uh, design itself. So, I will use those pictures and according uh, to them I will design that replicator. Uh, one other thing is actually the color. Now, uh, replicators uh, in their first appearance in 22nd episode of the third season, Nemesis, uh, had this purple-like uh, color. Uh, since the other episode, oh, well, all the other episodes actually uh, featured them in a different shape. No, oh, sorry, different color. Uh, this one actually, the more grayish one, even though this very picture is from the first uh, episode of the fourth season small victories uh, however this is not a real replicator it's just a holographic recreation uh, of Asgard that uh, was programmed to actually show every behavioral trends uh, from the real replicators anyway uh, when it comes to the color I would really love to avoid uh, painting it. Uh, I would really love uh, that I could use the color of the material itself. However, that depends on the fact uh, how the material would actually look. Now, I can all uh, I can uh, say already that uh, for this project I ordered um, material that has a color called metallic violet and uh, I really aim in achieving this this color. I have nothing printed from that material yet so I cannot be sure how it will uh, look but if uh, it would be underwhelming or basically will not meet my expectation I can always paint it. Uh, it's PLA material and I already have some experience with actually painting it uh, when I was younger I actually collected uh, models of airplanes so I have quite a lot of colors here still and its um, use on the PLA is uh, very very 
satisfying to say the least so in any case if the material color uh, itself proof to be mm, not that great I can always paint it though I would prefer not to because as you can imagine that's additional work that has to be put into it and uh, well we see we see anyway now we can go into Creo and take a look at the design that I prepared so we are in Creo and this is my design now first I have to say that you are probably uh, saying that it's not one-to-one -one design to those pictures it's not I changed my mind uh, in the process of uh, designing it I changed my mind in such a way that I don't want the model to be rigid I want it to be movable I want it to be to be posable not movable posable I want those legs to be able to actually uh, be put in uh, that th this or that position so that I can pose it uh, in various poses and uh, not just one uh, that has to be achieved every single time thus I aim to actually achieve uh, functioning joints that would able to actually move uh, all those digits and not only digits but also those uh, dorsal wings I guess I could call it so basically as you can see here we have a block that has two pins and here we have a block with hole just like here and the idea is that it will all snap together and hold itself quite tightly now here I had few uh, ideas for a few different designs uh, I already had to print few of those uh, parts to actually test those designs that would be actually uh, part of um, or uh, focus of uh, another part of the video uh, for now I will stick here in, in Creo and I will try to explain everything about that design as you can see it's, it's assembled from individual pieces I most certainly do not intend to actually print all those individual pieces not by a long shot uh, but I assemble it in such a way now as you can see it, the entire assembly is divided into several sub-assemblies like body, leg, 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 a wing, a joint, another wing joint, one wing, second wind, wing, sorry, uh, upper wing, second upper wing and the side panels. Now for example when I take a look at the leg it's divided as you can see into four digits and the idea is to assemble them together uh, and then attach them to the body here I have one joint so this entire digit could move up and down here I have another so this entire assembly could move up and down just like here and then here we have uh, holes hit there meaning that the entire leg can go uh, left and right actually so it could in a way simulate uh, walking now just a teaser for the purpose of actually testing those joints I had to already print this digit and this digit so that I can snap them together and test the uh, the joint the idea behind that is uh, simple that I want the joint to be uh, able to actually pose the thing yet strong enough so that the, the, the model itself the replicator would be uh, tight enough to actually hold its own weight and I think I achieved that judging by the testing I already made Uh, however here I have uh, not a problem really but uh, 
here I wouldn't really avoid uh, use of glue. Uh, why? Because as you can see, for example, here the body is assembled from various sub-assemblies that has to be put together. Sure, uh, if I make it like that, they could snap together and hold simply by the friction. Yes, that's certainly the, the case and that could be used that way. However, unfortunately, uh, for example, uh, here we have one half of the of this of this assembly and here we have no 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 here we have the second half those two actually make a bottom and and, and those two makes a top the problem is that between those two are those individual blocks that serves as support basically those I have to glue uh, whether I like it or not sure I can design some um, uh, slots here and then some pins in the block so that it could um, basically snap together sure there is that possibility though I'm not really a big fan of it because that would mean it would be visible those those uh, packs would be visible and um, that's something I would really like to avoid I, I don't really think it would be such a bad thing to actually have a glue there yeah, as you can see here those are the pins for the uh, front leg assemblies and here we have slot from for the right uh, back legs, I guess. When I, we have front legs and back legs on the other on the other side. Now these holes here and here are for the preparation of the wings, just like these holes are for the wing joints. Uh, when it comes to those wings they are attached as you can see here to that hole and here to that hole so it holds together now the uh, other, the other, other wings the inner wings are here on the disjoint so it could be moved in some position and then we have those uh, side panels so that is basically all for the design itself um, I don't I know it's not one to one uh, representation of the model from the from the series however uh, I don't really mind that because I want it to be possible I wanted to actually put it in some interesting poses uh, just a side note uh, the idea behind that was that I would like to make it in such a position that it would crawl uh, on my LCD from behind um, I wanted to pose it like that uh, at my work desk at at, uh, at work. However, that's well no longer possible considering both my LCD panels are already taken by two other models. Um, so I don't really know if uh, how will I pose it and where. Anyway, that would be all for this part. Uh, in the next part we will actually take a look at uh, real prints that I already made for, for the leg part to show uh, how the design of the joint works. Until then uh, I will wish all of you a very nice day and take care. Bye bye!